Hello everyone. Welcome to the Tech Tuesday's webinar on an introduction to Axon Data Marketplace. Axon Data Marketplace is a space where the user can publish data collections for business use and find data collections that other users in the organization have published. The presentation will be driven by Sachin Jain, a veteran from the Customer Success Technologies team, handling enterprise data governance, enterprise data catalog, Axon, and data quality products with more than 12 years of expertise. So here are some housekeeping tips before we start the webinar. The webinar is for one hour. There will be a webcast of 45 minutes and a live session to the end of the webinar uh, for addressing the question uh, or queries you have. Uh, the presentation will be muted so that the presenter can uh, present the, the video without any interruptions. Uh, all direct participants will be muted. And questions can be submitted to all panelists via the Q&A option, and we we'll respond at the end of the presentation. And the webinar will be recorded and will be available in the Informatica Support YouTube channel and the Success Portal. The link will be emailed to you. Please set aside some time to complete the post-webinar survey and provide your feedback and suggestions for upcoming topics for the Tech Tuesday webinars. The Tech Tuesday webinars is a webinar series introduced within the Success Portal. The Informatica Success Portal is a micro-learning platform that offers free and unlimited learning to all registered users. The Success Portal lists your success offerings, your customer success manager information, bookings available in the Ask an Expert session, and customized recommendations and content. Uh, now I hand over the presentation to Sachin to take it forward. Thank you. Thanks, Runda. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Hey, uh, hello, uh, good morning, good evening, guys. So today I'll be um, <clears throat> walk you through the Axon Data Marketplace. What is data democratization? What are the challenges of data democratization in a governance journey? Uh, and uh, how does data marketplace help the organization? And finally, I'll show the uh, demo uh, for you guys. Yeah. Data and uh, users are growing actually, yeah. Especially when you see in a new world, uh, the new technologies are coming in, right? So. The data volume every day, day by day, right? So uh, the volume of the data is increasing like anything, as well as the, the users which which they want to act on the, the new data or the volume of the data which is coming in with the different types of data, right? So you, eventually the users are also growing. Um, even uh, when it comes to the data which is moving to cloud, right? So each and every organizations are now moving from on-prem to cloud and uh, making use of uh, cloud technology uh, so that uh, you know uh, the users can access the data uh, from the cloud which is an easy way right so uh, for that you know once the data explosion is happening with the new users as well so we do have some sort of automation kind of thing right with the help of machine learning as well as the AI, yeah, um, artificial intelligence, right? So with the help of these things, we can make use of analytics purpose, but we can do some sort of automation so that help the organizations to, to drive the business uh, with the help of a data-driven nature, right? Moving forward, so as I mentioned, uh, data democratization, right? So this is the very toughest job in the organization that how do you share the data with uh, the other person uh, without like you know having an audit history or something like that right so data governance is helping those kind of regulations uh, with the help of you know it manages the risk 
when it comes to uh, managing the risk, right? The risk management is crucial, uh, you know, for any data driven organization. As data continues to grow exponentially in our day to day life, right, the associated risks are growing in numbers and the severity as well. For that, you know, GDPR, uh, General Data Production Regulation, uh, introduces a stricter formality in a way that the data has to be governed across the, uh, you know, uh, especially for the European Union. Uh, but it, the organization who are outside of EU as well, like, you know, European Union, right? So, uh, we still have a business with its members nation as well, have to follow these things. Data governance also makes, you know, uh, the IT and the business uh, data more readily discoverable, understandable, and applicable. So, whoever wants to access the data which is there in the organization right so they want to use it for you know report generation kind of and for analysis purpose right so they do data governance help them to have this data available which is ready and then trusted data right the risk that the organization uh, you know faces if they don't have the data governance which includes like you know regulatory or the data privacy fines this would be huge the risk of bad decisions yeah loss of competitive position. <clears throat> when it comes to uh, controlling the cost, right, as data government helps in controlling the cost of, uh, you know, the operations which are run by the organizations. Um, when the governance is in place, right, cost can be decreased or even can be avoided. I would like to give some sort of examples which includes um, an improved resource and process efficiency, uh, you know, digitalization, uh, automation with the help of MISLS AI, uh, simplification and has uh, enhanced analytical capabilities, right? So with the help of data governance, right, how to how to drive the business values that would that would be the organization challenges, right? So data is actually a corporate asset. In order to use, in order to use it, right? So for the faster decision making. Users must trust the data, whatever they're in the organization. Data governance breaks down the data seed used from a you know a different system across the enterprises and establishes a set of processes, standards, and the policies to make the data consumable enterprise wide. Automated data governance platform quickly you know uh, securely delivers the trusted data to the business users, uh, you know, who need it to perform their jobs. Collaboration is actually the main key, uh, you know, um, different users in our organizations, right? So probably it may connect to the IT or the business uh, or for the governance uh, councils, right? So collaboration is the key to success, uh, you know, to use the data across an organization. All business users, right, so need to know where to find the right data and have a common understanding of what data means, right? The amount and the variety of scope of business, the data available is growing exponentially, uh, making it increasingly difficult to find, understand, trust, despite of being essential of drawing value from it, right? <clears throat> Having systems in place like, you know, data governance, uh, govern data catalog, which, which enables users, you know, uh, to understand the data uh, in, a, in, a, in a business terms. So, so to do this right, so especially the chief information officer needs to collaborate with the CDO, who is the chief data officer, you know, to manage a data strat strategy, uh, you know, with the help of governance, right, that delivers the right data into the right hands, you know, to, to drive uh, the business transmission. This can be uh, done by having a focus on, uh, you know, continuous innovation and performances, right? Which, which I would like to give some sort of examples, which includes the business cycle times on a service levels. You can, you can increase customer retentions, you know, improved um, customer uh, engagement, right? So. 
on an overall uh, perspective, what I would like to mention here is right, um, with help of governance, right? Data democratization is is when, when when the transformation comes into picture, right? So data democratization helps in helps in you know uh, kind of uh, foundational or uh, functional one is a uh, to all the users who are present in the organization, right? So what what best quality you can get out of it, right? You know, governance is helping, you know, driving the business value, managing the risk and controlling the cost, right? So with the help of data democratization, so we can say, uh, you know, improved decision-making, uh, uh, you know, well-governed data is, is more discoverable, right? Uh, making it easier to find useful insights. It also means that decisions will be based on higher data quality, enabling the greater accuracy as well. Yes, in the governance is in picture, right? So the quality of the data, the data steward, right? It will, will make sure that the quality of the data is in, is in um, you know, very good standards. So then only we can make some sort of decisions so the organizations can take the decisions in, in, in a right way. You know, enhance the data quality, right? So. Uh, it could also reduce the reporting and analysis errors, right? It increases the uh, the business competitiveness. And with the help of governance and picture, right? So um, I would like to say the reduction in time spent on, you know, knowledge workers in finding and acquiring information. So this would like, you know, where is the data? Where I have to find the data? So this would, governance help you to find out right data to the right hands, actually. So it eliminates of, uh, redundant has spent on the you know cross knowledge workers looking for the same or similar kind of data. Yes, if you have the data, definitely it will it will give you uh, you know you don't have to spend some hours you know looking for the same similar type of data, right? So production in in, in kind of rework uh, you know due to the poor quality data since it has right so. Poor quality data doesn't come into picture when the governance is, is in place. So, uh, the product, productivity can be enhanced um, and uh, ROI associated to the specific, so, you know, uh, specific analytics initiatives can be quantified based on the assumptions that uh, you know you can improve the data availability and the quality uh, quality of the data. So this is what the with the transformation, right? So this is what organization can make use of it uh, with the help of data governance. So when it comes to the challenges of what data democratization is facing is all about the strategy, the literacy, trust, privacy, and the growth wise. Data yeah, strategy is, again, uh, uh, would like to give you some sort of examples on how data governance will help you to, you know, remove all these challenges or can solve these challenges uh, with the help of governance. Data right? yeah, strategy is like, um, see, you have a business strategy, but uh, you know, you also have have a data strategy that is mapped to your business strategy or not. We don't know, right? So, data governance helps helps you to understand uh, you know, how data is linked to the business process and outcomes as you can build a data stra strategy and uh, you know, prioritize some sort of data management activities based on the uh, business growth goals uh, so that you can, you know, organization can, and can increase the revenue, uh, decreasing the cost and you know, can minimize the risk, right? So, and, and comes to the literacy part, right? So, you know, it's not enough to simply, you know, collecting more data across the organization and people must understand what data is available as well as the business, the meaning and the context, right? So this is all very much required, uh, you know, to educate the people and what data we do have in our organization, right? So data governance helps you to, uh, you know, uh, with the data discovery kind of thing, cataloging as well as standardizing the business terminologies and the policies, right? These capabilities are critical and creating a shared language about data, the number of people and uh, diversity of the skills, experience and the background growth, right? So the other factor would be the trust. 
uh, see when the quality of the data comes into picture, so we, when the data steward enables that the quality of the data is is up to 99% is correct, so we have to trust the data. So with the data being used by more people, right? So across the organization, as it's very critical to create trusted that the data is fit for their business use or not. So this data governance helps us to show the data lineage and its quality so that, uh, you know, uh, you can you can relate from the, so where the data is coming from and the, where data is going on, all right? How is the quality of the data? So based on that, user can, user can trust the data uh, the data governance also helps you to understand how the, the quality changes as the data flows between the system across the process, as well as, you know, uh, kind of enabling uh, the data validation checks also directly into the business process through the workflows to ensure uh, the quality at the point of entry as well. So this is what the benefit you will get it out, you know, uh, with the help of governance. When it comes to the data privacy, right? So Data production and uh, responsible use of data are critical if organization wants to continue to have an access to customer data, right? Uh, with the help of governance, right? So we, we do helps, uh, we, we do help, you know, define and implement some sort of policies and then controls that ensure uh, appropriate collections, use and then life cycle of personal data, right? So that's where uh, we do have a separate source of the data privacy management tool which helps you to you know to protect the, the the PIA data right it also helps to provide the transparency to the customers and questions like you know what data is being collected how we, how it is being used and also you know who is it being shared with actually so these are the, the questions and the transparency to the customers right so privacy the data privacy will provide that and the growth, growth is like, you know, uh, we now have, uh, you know, different kinds of like, you know, data lakes with petabytes of data, you know, being updated in real time uh, with kind of streaming, sensor data, social data, or the, the mobile location data, right? So there are thousands of users, uh, you know, accessing the data across the finance, sales, or marketing, uh, you know, procurement or you know, research or development, manufacturing, any any of the organizations, right? So, it's at least a thousand for increase in scale and the complexity. So, with this data growth, right? So, governance helps you to uh, you know to keep up the AI powered automations as well. So, what I would like to give an example of automation side is it helps you to provide the discovery, data, domain discovery. You can make the data classification, mapping of business term to the technical metadata, linking uh, data across uh, structure and unstructured sources, data quality rule uh, generation and execution, right? So with the help of lineage and then the quality of the data, so you can make sure that you, know, you can avoid all these challenges uh, with the help of uh, data governance. Now, let's move to the <coughs> data marketplace so with where the Axon, Informatica Axon uh, provides a brand new functionality called as data marketplace. So uh, this is basically to enable data democratization across the organization. So, so, so now we have seen that like, you know, the data is evolving and then uh, uh, with the use of um, you know, even the users are growing. So, and the different users are requesting for some sort of uh, data to analyze it or to generate a report of it. This would be very difficult before the governance. So when the governance is in picture, right? So uh, this would enable, uh, it, it would maintain some sort of um, auditing or the history or who is accessing the data and what is he doing with that. But the Excel marketplace, right? So is a space where uh, you you know you can publish the data collections for business use and find data collections that other users uh, in your organizations have published. Uh, so if you are the owner, right, <coughs> owner of the data set in Axon, right? So you can make the data available for the uh, 
uh, others for the self service basis uh, i know from the data marketplace interface similarly if you want to use the data published by even other members as well so in your organization so you can uh, request for uh, access to the data on the self service basis as well <coughs> So now we'll move to the you know understanding of the users and the terms of our field actually. So when it comes to the users, right? So uh, Axon data market, uh, this is very important point and you know users and uh, roles, um, the terms especially. So when it comes to the data consumer, right? So these are the different users which are uh, you know available and uh, which are make use of data which is in data marketplace right so data consumers is in axon right so is is a user who wants to uh, use a data collection that is published by the published to the you know, data marketplace by the data owner actually so a data consumer must you know he has to search and find the uh, correct data collection and he has to request uh, you know access uh, from the data owner so so all users in the in the Axon data marketplace, right, can be a, a data consumers because the data owner would be very limited. So that one or two guys will be there to for a particular data set, right? If I have to give an example, if uh, on this, right? So if a manager in the organization uh, requests access to all the employees, hire, uh, you know date uh, data set, the manager is a data consumer now because he is requesting for that, right? So um data consumer uh, can perform uh, you know he can find and uh, request access to the data collections he can make business decisions you know uh, using the data which is approved by the owner and delivered by the technical owner i'll tell you who is technical owner for that and and the next would be the data owner see when the when the when a data set uh, stakeholder publishes uh, the data sets from Axon Data Governance to a marketplace, right? All the stakeholders for the data sets become the uh, data owners for that particular data collection. So by publishing the data, uh, the stakeholders makes the data available for the other Axon users who might, you know, kind of uh, need that data to make some sort of business uh, decision. Typically, um, the data owner is a data steward who you know onboards data sets to axon and manages the uh, data assets inventory and he could be you know defined in the quality of uh, you know uh, the data asset as well uh, if i have to give some sort of example on this right so who will be the data owner for that right so if the data steward of an hr team uh, in any organization, right? So publishes employee higher data data sets to the marketplace, right? So that data steward is a data owner because he is responsible, uh, you know, for creating and then managing, and then you define the quality of the data and he will publish the data to the market. So he's a data owner of it. So he, he can perform some sort of, you know, publishing data sets from external governance, data governance to the data marketplace as a data collection. So, uh, and then he has, uh, you know, kind of ability to approve or reject access, you know, requested the data collection, data consumer actually, because he is the owner of it. So, and the technical owner would be, uh, you know, in the technical, in an axon, right? So, he has all sort of technical rights to a data collection. Technical owner is actually responsible for kind of delivering the data sets of uh, data collection, you know, to a data consumer. So consumer who requests request the data, right? So data set is uh, the owner who who is responsible for the data sets will will um, provide access to that. He will approve that. But this guy, technical owner, is very much responsible for uh, uh, you know providing. Uh, the data, uh, especially the data to the data consumer, that could be in a different place as well. So that is his role. And the administration, so is is administration administrator in the in the, in the Axon, right? So he can do some sort of he can publish data sets from Axon data governance to the data marketplace as a, a data collection because he is the admin for that, right? So 
he has access to the all the data sets and then he can approve approve or uh, you know kind of do some sort of reject uh, access request to data collection on behalf of owner as well because since he is the admin so he can do all this stuff and the other other part is the super admin part so he's again uh, uh, the super admin user in the data governance uh, as well as in the marketplace so he can create categories for uh, data collections as a, an example of human resource um, you know marketing uh, retail something like that so he can publish data sets from some governance to the marketplace as a data collection same as like an administrator but he's super admin so these are all the users and uh, when it comes to the terms right so i was i was doing the access request category and then data collection and then fulfillment right so so the terms like you know access request right and access request is actually the request uh, the data consumers is making that request right to a data owner to get access to the data collection so the data owner usually um, publishes the data so consumer requests it so that is where it called as access request uh, the category would be is is a is a predefined classification of in the data marketplace where owners can publish you know data sets and then create data collections so basically a uh, category is is kind of a grouping several related data collection or i would mention say data sets in a governance world we call it as data sets and here we call it as data collection so for example if i have to give a data owner wants to publish employee policy documents to the data marketplace right the most suitable category of the documents might be you know human resources right so uh data collection so data collection refers to a data set that has a meaningful name and a description in the data marketplace for example say in an sr team so you know organization can publish uh, you know all employee policy documents to a marketplace uh as an like you know employee claims made to the company health plan some sort of you know kind of collections like fulfillment is um, you know refers to the process where delivering data to a uh, data consumer this is this is done by the technical uh, user so he will deliver uh, you know um, the data to the uh, data consumer so these are all the the terms uh, which we have in maxon data marketplace so now um, how a uh, data marketplace works actually so as the pictorial diagram say, you know shows that you know uh, data owner publishes data sets to the data marketplace as a data collection um, then the consumer searches the data marketplace and then find a data collection data consumer uh, once he finds that right he requests the access to the data from the data owner data owner has options to approve it or to reject it so with the appropriate uh, you know providing the comments as well i'll show you that in the demo and as well as the screenshot of it right so and finally the technical owner uh, you know uh, delivers the data to the data consumer this is what uh, i was mentioning that like you know why terms and then the users uh, which makes you know more easier for you to understand actually yeah so now i would like to show uh, some sort of uh, screenshots of axons after that i'll take i'll take you guys to the demo um you know create uh, you know data collections for business uh, use right so usually the data owner uh, in this axon board right so he will he has an option to uh, you know uh, publish the data this is where he is uh, you know selecting the category say human resource right and then he is creating especially uh, once he publishes right so uh, then uh, the publishers will take once he publishes that it will go to the page where the category has to select and then he has to uh, make it as create then the uh, okay this is this is what the uh, you know different sort of categories i was mentioning right the terms like you know categories right so this is what business finance human resource and the market so it's a different categories you know user has option to create uh, their own categories and then 
and then the collections on like you know related the data sets to uh, kind of business or different categories kind of thing right so i was mentioning right so user data consumer has um, you know he has option to search and uh, filter to find you know whatever is required for him so in the in the screenshot i'm showing the customers right so he has searched the customers and it is dis displaying the customers uh, and the category is human resource so and the owner is also displaying that so it's john admin so this is where he will search and then uh, he with the help of like you know he, he can see that yours belongs to that customer data collection or the data set so uh, you can see the metadata kind of thing here so then once like you know this is how uh, the consumer uh, make an access i mean request access to the uh, to a data collection so as a shopping cart experience right so he will select uh, you know search and select and then he will say uh, check out so while giving you know while checking out he will give some sort of business justification so he has to make sure that uh, you know he has to provide some sort of um, valid business justification to the owner saying that uh, you know we have to generate some sort of report or it would be helpful for the sales or marketing purpose kind of thing so then uh, when it comes to the you know owner part right so in the task so he will see what are the you know tasks which are belongs to him and then and then uh, he in the screens it shows right so there are two tasks and then one is going to approve that would be the one which i have requested now with the customer's data set right so uh he's trying to approve that here and then and then providing comments saying that you know customer information is available in our database that could be any of the things any of the matters so that it is outside of Excel. so he can do that um, you know by uh, technical uh you know uh, owner will do that you know by uh, how to provide the data uh, accessible to the consumer so once he approves with the uh, you know comments right so this is where uh, consumer will see what what the data owner has replied and uh, whether he has approved or rejected kind of thing so uh, customer or whatever the owner has given the comments right so that is also showing here so once he says like you know okay this will be available in a separate email kind of thing so then when it uh, then it moves to the, the provisioning part right so technical owner will come to the picture saying that you know okay this is what uh, with the help of enterprise data catalog of uh, you know uh, and also the IACS, IACS integration right so uh, he is able to view the data the customer's data uh, with the sample of data right so once you view the data and there is a uh, option to you know provisioning this this data to uh, customer uh, so that here in this case like you know he is moving from one db to you know uh, another db uh, with the help of iacs you know usually the mapping gets executed in iacs so that the transformations i could say like you know um and data movement uh, from one one uh, db to another db or could be the flat file or could be even to the Amazon S3 location or somewhere, right? So he um, can push the data there and then he'll, he will, uh, you know, uh, say that, you know, the data is available in this location, right? So once the technical owner, right? So he, he you know, he finishes that uh, the data is, is is pushed to, you know, that location where, where uh, consumer can access it, right? So uh, then he finally goes to that, uh, uh, task and then he will say okay uh, the mark he, he mark it as uh, fulfilled uh, with a comment saying that you know the details of the data is shared or uh, email actually so this is what uh, you know uh, on the presentation side so uh, you know i would like to show a demo now yeah well let's move to the axon data market uh, demo uh, this is what the page which shows the Axon uh, uh, data governance tool. So I logged in as a John who is an admin. And so let's go to the data marketplace and then show you uh, what are the different categories which are available there. So business, finance, human resource, and the market. So this is what the admin has imported with the help of import templates. Uh, different categories has created here. So now, um, 
let's go to the uh, data governance and then uh, John will search, um, you know, because he has to publish it, right? So enter the data set, he will search customers as a data set and then he will, you know, publish it actually. So this is what the page which shows to publish it and then I'll say go to, you know, the different categories that uh, the category which I selected was the market and then I'll say market um, and then I'll say create. So once I say create, right, so this is what the publishing of data set from data governance to data marketplace. So let's go to the data marketplace and then see whether uh, in the market category we do have the the customers which was shared right now by the john right okay this year so what i'll do is now uh, i log in as a data consumer so and then i to request the customers uh, data collection which was published right so i logged in as a data consumer uh, i'll go to the data marketplace okay so there's an option to search and then you can show the filters so my purpose is to find out some so far customer details which are there in the market right so uh, if he wants to you know search you there is an option and also the filters are available to do that um, so let's select the the customer data collection and uh, the attributes which are belongs to the customer right and then he will say check out while giving the business justification um customer data collection is uh, required to you know to generate a report for marketing okay so then you'll say okay check out so consumer has checked out, so this is what it says, you know, you know, the pending state because the owner has to approve this. So what I'll do is I'll log out from here. It's a kind of, uh, you know, shopping cart, right? So uh, I'll log in as uh, John admin and then uh, I will go to the data marketplace. So, and then uh, in the data marketplace, right, uh, the data owner who is the John right, he will see the request. Okay, so the, the consumer, uh, the customers, right, so he will say who has requested and then uh, what is the, the purpose of it, right, so he will say approve. Now we will giving the business certification, okay. Approved and share. Um, so the email, so, and then say approve, right? So you can see the customers are, I mean, there is one more task which is pending from his side, which is fulfillment, right? So mark as fulfilled. This is done by the technical owner because, I mean, he's, he's also the technical owner of it, right? So he has to provide the data to the consumer. So he logs into the EDC, enterprise data catalog, Right, he will see the data customers, right? So he will he will preview it and then sees that, and then he'll say, okay, provision it. So with the help of task, right? So um, is this EDC, you know, um, uh, this EDC makes use of uh, IACS mapping to move data from you know source to target connection so i'm selecting the target uh, connection so accounts and then say okay and then what i'll do is and i'll say okay but this is a target asset name which is underscore um, Customer accounts underscore, uh, you know, market. So uh, I'll say next. This is for the target and then source details, and also I'll say submit. So with the help of EDC, right? So I'm provisioning data to the consumer. So this internally makes use of uh, 
the jobs which runs in IAC is uh, the job is like you know uh, it's a mapping, so it, uh, it it moves data from the source details to the target one, and the target asset name is the customers underscore market, right? So this process has started now. So I'll I'll show you in the this is what the IAC is um, page, and then uh, in the jobs, right? So I'll show you. Uh, it's in the cured state. So this is what the job which was submitted right now. So it says, uh, you know, success, the rows processed were all this stuff and all details are available here. This is what the ICS page and then here itself, the ADC mappings, mapping has been created with the source details and the target details of it, right? So, I mean, so source details and the target details, we are providing it in uh, ADC. So, um, yeah, so now it says the success here. Um, so, so now once it is success, right? So we'll go back to the, uh, you know, even though I'll show you it in the um, DB as well. So where it has moved the data. So it was, um, Customer, uh, you know, underscore market. So this is the one, and uh, the data you could see here. This is what the data. So, so provisioning will be done outside of your uh, Exxon and. Um, See, once the fulfillment is done, right? So I will say mark as fulfilled. Uh, the data is the file level in the will be provided for the inmate. Okay, and then you will say mark as fulfilled. So the, the, the process is complete now. So this is the owner who has done it, who is the technical owner as well. So now, um, you know, it has to be notified. That, uh, data consumer will be open and uh, uh, he has to see that, right? So what has happened to the, the one which he has requested for that, right? So uh, he will go to the data marketplace and then uh, he'll go to the uh, the one which which he wants to use, right? So this is what you'll see all the details. Placed order and then approved order, and then you will say on the details will be provided over the email, right? So he has provided all this in and then fulfilled, right? So this is how the data uh, marketplace in Axon, you know, which helps the governance level with help of EDC and IACS. So, you know, this is what the demo is. Thanks, thank you. Well, um, thanks audience, like, you know, uh, uh, you know, for attending this webinar and uh, this such an year. Uh, so I'll be happy to answer your questions now. Uh, um, you know, audience, please go ahead and then start putting some questions on that. So there is one question now. Um, is there an additional cost or licensing needed for uh, Exxon Marketplace? Uh, you know, if not, what really is, uh, is this enabled? So, so the, the Marketplace, feature is available in the version 6.3 now. Uh, so there is no separate license for that. If you guys have, uh, you know, Axon uh, for the version, license for the version 6.3, so you can enable the um, Axon Data Marketplace feature. Yeah.
So if there are no questions or uh, so probably we'll 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 close the webinar and Q and A as well. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for attending the webinar.